Hey, what's up, guys? DJ Nerdy Boy here. Uh, I'm a huge stalker fan, as I'm sure like all five of you know. Um, out of out of the six viewers, five of you would know that. Uh, to the other one, I'm a huge stalker fan. Uh, and apparently, there was a, as you can tell, it was a, it was an E3 trailer, uh, showcasing stalker. Uh, so um, yeah, I'm uh, I, I wa I've already watched it. This isn't, this isn't gonna be a blind reaction, I'll be honest. But like, he, like this, I'm rewatching this to kind of give you, you have anyone watching this. My thoughts, because you no, know, like of all the people to be making a video on Stalker, why not be a Stalker fan? But I want to see the reaction of people who don't know a fucking thing of st about Stalker, and then be like, "What the fuck is going on?" But anyways, let's. I do have a few thoughts. If, 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 I do have a few thoughts have, having watched this trailer, so I'm really, I'm really interested. I might skip the parts that I don't have much to talk about. Don't have much to talk about, don't have much to talk about them. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. This song, right here. I'm glad, I'm glad the good old, the good old stalker thongs are coming back. And I think this dude makes a joke about that later on. I should, I should have this at a much higher resolution for the sake of recording. That's one thing I'm never going to see. Looks like he's giving me the duck face. This guy right here on the left. Oh. First thing, first thing I want to mention. I'm really happy that the uh, the old, the good old design of the stalker suits making it back. I've always felt like that's, to me, that's always like been a big thing of like uh, stalker. I've always liked the look of the sunrise suit, and I'm glad that like it's it's coming back. It obviously looks updated, but like I'm happy it's coming back. That's one of the things that I, when it comes to like. Um, a lot of the HD stalker mods, it always gets rid of like this suit, and I never liked it. So I'm glad it's coming back. It's always looked cool to me. Готово. Ну и пошли они нахрен. Спасибо тебе. Ты многим сталкерам жизнь спас. Ну, давай, малюй картину маслом. This is so fucking stalkers just sitting around a campfire. <laughs> I love that that's how they have their trailer. It's just sitting around a campfire talking. <laughs> I love that it's coming back. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a lot of words to talk about the the gameplay. The gameplay is like my biggest thoughts on to be honest. Okay, okay, so I'm just gonna say it right now I'm both worried and excited about the gunplay. That, that sounds weird. That sounds weird. But uh, as you. It, okay, so one of the things with Stalker um, when fighting other dudes was that it always. When you're getting into a gunfight, it always felt like it kind of. It always played like a uh, tactical shooter. Kind of like it, like it was easy for me to transition from like Rainbow Six or SWAT Four into Stalker because if you go into that mindset, you're not gonna die as much. You're still gonna die a lot, but like, but watching this, like this guy, he just walks right out and he just guns him down like no fucking problem. And as smooth and as as cool and smooth as the gunplay looks so far. It just kind of, it, I'm worried that it's just going for an arcadey action approach. It's it's a big it's that's a worry for me because I feel like that gets like even gun battles were tense in the original Stalker games when you get in when you get into them. So I'm I'm worried that like they are going that route and now it could just be for the sake of like uh, the trailer because they don't because uh, I was talking about this with my brother. You kind of don't want to watch someone die or be in cover a lot, but I feel like that would be more accurate as to what the gameplay would be. Um, but I'm also wondering if they're kind of like if it's if the difficulty of the gunplay is going to be somewhat akin to uh, Metro. Uh, Metro, I f I'm going to assume Metro on like lower. I I'll be honest. I'm going to be completely honest. Never played Metro on lower difficulties. I have only played Metro 2033 and Last Light on Ranger Hardcore. 
Gunplay's good, but it's fucking hard. You can die in like one or two hits. So if Stalker, at least on harder difficulties, if Stalker is like that, I'll be fucking fine. If, it, if Stalker is like Call of Duty-ish on lower difficulties, but like, let, but it plays more like Metro on Ranger Hardcore on higher difficulties, that's fine. Then I don't. Then I won't really care. I just like having that like the in, the intense firefights, and I'm worried that the game's not gonna have that as much. But if it does have it, then I'll have. Then I have absolutely no fucking fear. Well, okay, maybe I still have a little bit of fear, but, like, a, it still looks like it's going to be fucking fun. I'm still worried about how the A-Life is going to be done. And nothing from this shows you how A-Life looks, but, like, dude, just some of this stuff. It just makes me think Crisis, the way he, like, picks it up and shit. Like, I just think of Crisis 2, Crisis 1, and the way he puts it on. I know other games have done it, but I, the biggest thing for me is Crisis. I love Crisis. So when a game makes me think, oh, Crisis, that's, that's honestly a good sign. It kind of looks like a slower version of Crisis, the way all of the stuff's moving on. It, if you told me that he was running this on, uh, that this game was actually running on the Cry Engine, I wouldn't, like, I would believe you. Oh, I fucking love this. Oh, f I fucking love this. I, f I fucking. Oh, wait, I recognize this. This is the Great Swamps. This is the Great, I recognize this. Yay, this whole place is the Great Swamps. I can't believe I didn't fucking realize it the first time I watched this. God damn it, I'm an idiot. Oh, I fucking love those effects. Oh, I, I wonder if that's an artifact detector. I, I, as you might have noticed, I watched it with very low... Uh, it's definitely an artifact detector. Oh, I fucking love... I fucking love the way this looks. I really hope this is legit gameplay and not, like, pre-rendered bullshit. What you say, and I really see this. Не первый год в зоне, вроде примелькал в суше. А как? Uh, that's all I gotta say. It just looks fucking great. <laughs> I saw that and it was immediately like, yo, that looks dope. Каждый день удивляет. Зона надо есть много. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. The rest of this, if if you're watching this now and you're still watching this, the rest of this video is gonna be boring because I'm just gonna go, oh, that looks good. Говорят, ты знаешь, где вход в фундамент. Тише, тише. Узнаешь мотив. Окей, okay, so, oh wait. Слышал? Okay, he kicked the bucket. Okay, so I want to let him kick the bucket before I stop him. I remember when I first watched the trailer, my very first thought was, oh man, they, they're going over the top with the characters and shit. And then I immediately thought, wait a minute, Stalker, Call, Clear Sky, and Call of Propriet had legit characters. That Some of them were a bit weird and over the top. So, so it makes sense for Stalker 2 to have it. But the, I'll be honest, the biggest thing that that scene reminded me of was Chernobylite. It's weird how that reminds me of Chernobylite instead of Chernobylite reminding me of Stalker. That's interesting. Like, that this, that whole situation just seemed like an encounter you would have gotten in Chernobylite. Fun game, by the way. If, if you like... It's not Stalker. It just has that aesthetic. So if you like this look, you'll like Chernobylite. But it's, it's definitely different gameplay. I don't know how to... I don't know how to describe the gameplay. It's like, it's, it, you shouldn't treat it like a first-person shooter. You should treat it like a horror stealth game. Like, you don't want to, you shouldn't be getting into combat. If you're getting into combat, you're kind of doing it wrong, but your character can level up and get better. I'm not, I'm not supposed to be re reviewing Chernobylite, but I liked it. I like Chernobylite. I haven't played it in a year, to be honest. But I, when I, I first played it, uh, I think beginning of last year. Uh, actually, when, when was, when was the last time I played it? When was the last time I played Chernobylite? When was the last time? Yeah, last year, February 16th. I, I enjoyed it! That was it was 6.4 hours with... That was I mostly enjoyed. Вот эта культура. А ты Damn, одно и то же по кругу лобаешь. Near the same team. Fuck you, bald man. It's a beautiful song. All the, all of the oh, guitar songs are beautiful. Прошу прощения. Может, вам кучёны? Профессура. Они вам лабораторию найдут. I love this. I 
fucking, I fucking love, I love, I fucking, labs look at dope as fuck, <laughs> they were, they were definitely a highlight of the, uh, I just realized he doesn't have glowing eyes anymore, the bloodsuckers in the, uh, original games, they have glowing eyes, but I do, I do like to look at the bloodsuckers, the bloodsuckers look good, but the, uh, oh god, the environment, I am, I'm so looking forward, I'm, this was this was another reason. Like when I saw this, I'm, oh, this looks good. This looks good. This looks really good. <laughs> they definitely got the look down. The look is fucking fantastic. So I am. Uh... Oh, again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm if all I'm saying is just oh, it looks fucking awesome. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just I, I love it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. People are like, oh my god, E3 sucks. And I'm sitting here like, I fucking love this E3. I didn't watch it, clearly. I, I only just saw this and like recommended it. And I'm like, fuck yeah. <laughs> the music's also good. You're going to hear the music soon. Like right now. Yeah. I wonder what that's in the distance. Like, there's there's this blue light in the distance. I wonder what that is. I wonder if, um... We're gonna... We'll get into it in a second. Let's get this part. I don't know. I don't, I don't have anything to say about this. Other than this guy seems crazy. Wait a minute. Oh, I just... I just, I just thought of something. He's... Wait a minute. Он мучился? Нет. заслужил. Жаль, что ты так с ним поступил. Мне тоже. Считаешь, я не думал, как обойтись без его смерти? Она не могла быть свободна, пока он жил. Зато теперь. Посмотри на нее. Нет, Скиф. Я не отдам ее никому. Сона дала мне жизнь. Новую жизнь. Жизнь, которую я готов вернуть, если потребуется. Я буду защищать ее. Всегда. Oh, I forgot they got... How did I forget? They brought the gods right into the trailer. I, I wanted to talk about it. I wanted to talk about it. Like, I think we're playing... I think we're hunting Starlock again. Because I can't think of anyone that he would want to protect the zone from other than Strelok. We had to be going after Strelok. Like, I can't think of anything else. Maybe Degtierev, uh from Call of Pripyat, but we have to be going after Strelok. Like, come on. Come on. I'm going to talk about this next part, though, because I forgot about this. I don't know how I forgot about the gauze rifle here. Holy shit. Ooh, when I hear the sound it makes, like... The other... Ooh, oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful, man! It's so beautiful! Oh, fucking... Get, get to it, get to it, get to it. Oh, just look at that! Oh! Oh, man, it's, it's gonna be so fucking cool getting shot up by that thing. <laughs> weird thing is weird as weird as the thing. It sounds so good too. It sounds so good. It looks good. It sounds good. Oh, and this too. Um, I'm wondering if they're gonna try and bring back ideas that were. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, cut from uh, the original games because I do know that they uh, there was always the first Stalker game had a lot of cut content. What was it? Was it the generator? There was like, yeah, yeah, it was like, I think it was the generator. I think that's what the level was called. There was like this weird circular thing that was supposed to control the emissions in the zone. And like, go, going going there was, I was really, ex I was really interested in what the original idea for the place was. Because it looked, it looked fucking sick. So I'm wondering if I'm going to try and use the same kind of stuff. Because, they, li they like to re, actually, I guess the reason why they reused assets. I was going to say they reused assets, but. Um, to try and like bring back some cut content, but it was always on the same engine. You, you wouldn't be able to fucking reuse it here, like not at all. It's a, it's a, it's a completely different engine. There's there's no reused assets coming back. 
but I'm uh, I'm cu I'm curious on what kind of stuff. I remember I remember this from Chernobylite. So as soon as I saw this, I immediately thought of Chernobylite. It was like, I forget what it was. I'll be honest. I blew it up in the game. Fucking nostalgic hearing that fucking beep. Like, <laughs> they don't need to bring the the beep sound. They don't, or the gauze rifle sound, or the fucking guitar. I think that's purely fan service. But ah, I don't care. I fucking love it. I'm not. I'm not. My heart's not made of fucking stone. Huh. You've you've heard me throughout this entire video of you were watching so far. I I I, I see this stuff and I'm go. И куда ты теперь? В Припять. Нужно с ним поговорить. Точно. Дантин Столкер. Сергей. I want to look at this guy's face again. Is he in one of the one of the older games? Actually, is any of these guys in one of the older games? I think I remember hearing someone being like, "Oh yeah." It's... Uh, maybe one of the one of these guys might have been in it. I don't, I don't know. He's clearly new. I got the feeling that this guy's a rookie. Oh, but yeah, I'm a. Oh, April twenty eighth, twenty twenty two. God damn it, that's a long time to wait. That's a long time. I'm not. I don't think I'll. I'm definitely not gonna pre order. I don't pre order. I don't. I don't like to pre order games. But oh. Especially if it's digital. Like, you don't need to pre-order if it's a digital game. I am so looking forward to this game. I, um... I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm still a little nervous, but... It's looking to be good. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I'm not sure if I've really fucking brought anything of value, but hey, you know, hopefully you guys are at least fucking entertained. Uh, and, uh, yeah. See you guys next time.